London Lifesavers are people who know what to do when someone's in cardiac arrest, and they have the confidence to act quick enough to save a life. Search Become a London Lifesaver and register to join our community of lifesavers. And so now with Alexa from the London Ambulance Service, I'm going to explain how to perform CPR and use a defibrillator. Alexa, what's the most important thing to remember? Chest compressions. They keep the blood pumping around the body. So continue this until medical help arrives. OK. This person looks like they're in cardiac arrest. What do we do? To help save a life, we follow these simple steps. Doctors A, B, C, D. Doctors A, B, C, D. So what does all that stand for? So D is for danger, R, response, S, shout for help, A, airway, B, breathing, C, chest compressions, and D, defibrillator. OK, so the first D was for danger. Yes, that's so correct. So I want to look around and make sure that it's safe for me to go up to this person who seems to have had a cardiac arrest. It seems safe to approach. OK, if it is safe to approach, we move on to R, our response. OK, so... How do I assess for a response? So we need to do a shake and shout. Shaking their shoulders and shouting, hello, can you hear me? Open your eyes. OK, so I'm going to tap them like this, give them a shake. Hello, can you hear me? Open your eyes. If they're not responding, you need to shout for help. Can somebody help me, please? Then we move on to our A, airway. We're going to do a head tilt, chin lift. Place one hand on the forehead, two fingers on the chin, tilting the head backwards. Like that? Yes, that's correct. Then we move on to our B, breathing. Place one hand onto the chest. Place your face near theirs to see if you can feel or hear any breathing. Okay, so I'm feeling and listening with my ear and I'm looking at my hand and there's no breathing happening. If there's no breathing or they're not breathing normally, you need to call for help on 999. What next? Then we're going to move on to C, chest compressions. We need to expose the patient's chest. And do this it? Yes, that's correct. Place one hand on top of the other in the centre of the chest, interlocking our fingers. We're going to push down hard and fast in the centre of the chest for twice a second. Am I in the right position? Yes, you are. OK. Once the defibrillator arrives, like this, you need to open the lid. You need to take out the pads. Each pad has a picture of exactly where the pad needs to go. So I'll put the pad there. Is that the right position? Yeah, that's correct. OK. And then the left lateral side, just under the left arm. OK. Just under the arm, about there? Yes, that's right. The defibrillator will tell you exactly what you need to do. If a shock's required, the machine will let you know. Shock advised. Do not touch the patient. Press red flashing button to deliver shock. If a shock's required, we need to ensure everyone stands clear. How do I do that? If we say stand clear. OK, so I'm going to say stand clear, and then I'm going to tell everyone I'm shocking while I look at the patient. Shocking. Once we've delivered the shock, we need to get straight back on the chest and deliver chest compressions until medical help arrives. OK, Alexa, so to recap... Yes. Check for danger. Yes. See if the patient is responding. Shout for help. Yes. Open their airway. Assess their breathing. If they're not breathing, call 999 or get your bystander to call 999. Yes. Then start chest compressions. Once you have a defibrillator, use the defibrillator. And as soon as you've administered a shock, go back to doing chest compressions until help arrives. Yes, that's correct. Fewer than one in 10 people survive a cardiac arrest. Every minute after arrest without CPR or defibrillation decreases the chances of survival. And that's why acting quickly is so, so important. But these skills aren't just useful when you're out and about. 76% of arrests in London happen in the home. So by learning these skills, you may end up saving the life of someone you love.